Oh, hi. Hey everyone, Dusty here. Today I wanted to share with you my top six books that are somewhat related to triathlon, whether they're cycling, swimming, or a triathlon specific book. And I thought we could get started with the queen of triathlon, Chrissy Wellington. So this is Chrissy Wellington's triathlon story. It's called A Life Without Limits. Basically talks a little bit about her life before triathlon and then her rise to just being one of the most dominant female triathletes that the sport's ever seen. Obviously she has a pretty cool story to tell, so if you don't know the story about Chrissy Wellington, definitely pick this one up. Alright, next up one of my favorites is Finding Ultra by Rich Roll. I'm sure many of you watching this know or listen to the Rich Roll podcast. Well, that's this guy. This is a great book telling his story as well, and he explains in it how he went from out of shape to one of the best Ultraman athletes in the world. So obviously he has a very motivational message and story to share, and if you don't know Rich Roll's story, I would pick this one up as well. Next up we have a book on doping. Now doping is prevalent in almost all sports, especially when it comes to endurance sports, but uh, this book is called The Secret Race. It's written by Tyler Hamilton who rode with Lance Armstrong during Lance's reign of winning the Tour de France and basically talks about the whole doping culture surrounding cycling especially back then and how they went about specifically taking the drugs and hiding it and it's a super interesting read so if you don't know much about the whole doping world especially back in the Lance days this is a must read. Alright, next up I have a book on recovery and this is called The Athlete's Guide to Recovery and this is a book that I think a lot of athletes could benefit from. I think recovery isn't something that a lot of athletes, especially triathletes, put enough priority on and in turn their training and their racing suffers. So anything you wanted to know about recovery is in this book. So if you're looking to take your training and racing to the next level and, and if you know you haven't been putting as much focus into recovery as you should be, uh, I would pick this book up. Next up is hands down the best swim book out there for triathletes and it's called Swim Speed Secrets. And Sheila, the author of this book, breaks down in very good descriptions and photos how the proper swim stroke should look and some drills that you can use and some swim sets. So if you're a triathlete that struggles with your swim, which most of us do, uh, definitely pick up Swim Speed Secrets. Next up is a really funny book. It's called Trizophrenia, Inside the Minds of a Triathlete. Puts everything that's a little silly about triathlon into this book. There are some good tidbits in here as well, so if you haven't read this book, check it out. All right, so the sixth and final book is a book on cycling. It's just called Get Fast. A complete guide to gaining speed wherever you ride. Now this book has everything in it from selecting your frame to nutrition to sets to do to how to stretch to strength training. So if the bike's holding you back or you just want to learn a little bit more about cycling and all the tips and tricks that go into getting faster on the bike, definitely pick up this book. So those were my top six, but I should have one honorable mention. One of my favorite triathlon books is I'm Here to Win by Chris McCormick who's the two-time winner of the Ironman World Championships. I just don't have the book here to show you. It's out of Friends, unfortunately. But um, that's one of my favorite triathlon books as well. It just talks about his whole life from quitting his job as an accountant to eventually becoming Ironman World Champion. And it's a very similar book to Chrissy Wellington. So if you don't know Maca's story, definitely pick up on Here to Win as well. And that's it. Those are some of my favorite triathlon and triathlon-related books. I thought I would just share those with you in case you haven't read some of those. If there's any books that are your favorites that weren't on my list, just leave them down below in the comments so I know what books to pick up next. And like always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe for more everything running triathlon and nutrition related.